feel pretty calm just now. It is different, yeah. Playing Slam Final and there's a little bit more riding on the match and that's what makes these, these events special. Andy tries to sort of get you doing a lot of different things, tries to throw you off. But my goal is just to keep him away from that and play it on my terms so that I can be aggressive and not hesitate. Andy Murray has dominated the head-to-head -head lately. He's won the last five times they've played, including a couple weeks ago in the finals of Queens Club. But Roundit should be able to take some confidence from that loss and also some understanding of what he needs to do in order to be successful. The most important thing to get to a final in a slam, you have to get through very difficult situations like he was uh, against Goffin, zero down. Tennis-wise, uh, we know uh, what his weapons are, how well he's playing, but uh, mentally he kept fighting a lot and, and it's paying off. This is such an intriguing match because you have a contrast in styles. With Milos Raonic, you have some of the biggest firepower in the sport, especially on the serve and the forehand. Andy Murray, one of the great defenders, one of the great absorbers of pace. He's incredible with a target. Milos, I think he has the weapons to hurt Andy. So it's about uh, being aggressive, serving well, obviously, and he will have the chance. He's gonna have to take advantage of it, but uh, you know he's going to be able to, to play well at least. Murray has only played uh, Federer and Djokovic in Grand Slam finals, and it's no disrespect to Milos Raonic, who is playing fantastic tennis. I think those challenges against Federer and Djokovic, two of the greatest players of all time, are as, uh, as difficult as the, ch the challenge can be in tennis. You know, Andy has to go out there and still play a very high level of tennis because if he doesn't, Raonic is incredibly dangerous. You know, Andy, this is his opportunity to really you know, cement his legacy. You know, he's, done, he's done it once before, so he knows, he knows it's possible. It's really nice to see him come through that semi-final in such comfortable fashion. As far as I'm concerned, he's in the finals and he looks fresh as a daisy. Milos Raonic will have to confront uh, the chance of winning his first major championship, and Andy Murray will have to confront the demons of losing so many Grand Slam finals recently and winning his second Wimbledon. It's going to be an incredibly exciting men's final uh, with very small margins, and either way there's going to be a great story to be told.